Now, Cape Coast High Court has slapped the Ghana Police Service with a 320,000 fine for the negligence of its officers over the shooting of three persons in a taxi cab. The officers who were pursuing goat thieves from Trifopraso fired into the thief's car. A stray bullet hit a moving taxi occupied by a couple and their daughter in the process. The bullet hit and killed Mary Abuaji injured her husband Abuaji Ochery and a student on her way to school. Richard Kwejonyaku has more. According to the plaintiffs, on the 10th of January 2019 at about 6.30 a.m., they were on board a taxi cab from Ankafo Junction in Cape Coast when they were shot at by personnel of the Ghana Police Service who said they were chasing robbers from Chufopraso. The bullets of the police trade and hit Mary Abwaji, who later died at the hospital. The two other victims, Cecilia Mensa and her father, sustained varying degrees of injuries as a result of the bullet they also received. The defendants, the Ghana Police Service, told the court it deployed five policemen from the various police stations in the central region for police patrol duty at Daman near Chifopraso. Whilst on their patrol duty, they had information that there was a BMW saloon car with four occupants suspected to be driving recklessly. A few minutes later, the said BMW car approached the patrol team. The team signaled the driver to stop. However, he ignored the signals and sped off nearly knocking down the policemen. The police team further indicated they noticed that the passenger on the front seat was holding an AK-47 rifle. Accordingly, they notified all the police barriers from Chifu Prasu to Cape Coast and proceeded to chase the said BMW car. On the outskirts of Jukwa Senior High School, the suspected robbers then began firing at the police patrol vehicle with AK-47 rifle leaving the police no choice than to return fire. After the arrest of the suspect, a search conducted in their car revealed six live goats, one live sheep, and five dead goats. Justice Kwesi Buache in his judgment indicated the judgment of the court was not meant to intimidate and lower the morale of the crime-fighting institutions in the country, such as the Ghana Police Service. He urged the Inspector General of Police to take proactive steps to sanitize the Ghana Police Service. He further noted that there was a dire need to undertake complete overhaul or re-engineer the service as far as its professional training needs and competence are concerned. He consequently awarded the first plaintiff the sum of 150,000 Ghana cities. For Cecilia Mensah, the third plaintiff, a student of Academy of Christ the King, the judge assessed compensation payable at 60,000 Ghana cities and ordered the defendant to, to pay same. He also further awarded a lump sum payment of 100,000 Ghana cities to the estate of the deceased because her family member Josephine Oche sued as a dependent of Mary Abuaji. The court assessed cost at 10,000 Ghana cities in favor of the plaintiffs and against the defendants. The plaintiffs were grateful to the court that at long last justice has been served. Oh, me ni bibi ya meka o. One, eh, omo na no me bi go ho a, omo ye omo adwen se. Omo mpese omo ye de omo be. Do wa sadi na si ewi. Nti adi na si ewi no no. Ye yin timi mani pa ne nsa na bi. Nti e so mo hu se. Mani pa na o ko ye no omo frama e wo chiri. Nti de so mo ye na se omo anye na ye da ba court na court. Aka so mo di fo a. Eh, sa na e pe no. Eh, because ni pa no why not you say, do I hear you? Why not you? In the court, why can't you? Yeah, the court has it. Why the TBI? No, no. So you, so when you court, I can't hear you too. Oh, yeah, it's in order. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejonyakon, Cape Coast. Richard Kwejonyakon, our correspondent in the Central Region, joins us via Zoom with more Kwejonyakon. You've been interacting with the family. How are they uh, receiving this fine on the police? So um, it's a mixed reaction from the family. First, they indicate that, well, the, the case has traveled for almost three years and they thank God that at least justice has been served. But on the other leg, they also believe that the compensation packages were paltry. Um, they say that nothing could bring back the dead to life. And then it's also shattered the dreams of a lot of the people that would also have depended on these people. So it's, it's a mixed reaction. but. Nonetheless, they say that justice has been. All right, so Kojo Nyako is our correspondent in the central region. He's been monitoring this for us. Kojo, if you're back, um, how is the police also receiving this development?
Hello, Kojonyako. All right, so Kojonyako is bringing us up to speed to a case that has run on for three years. Uh, it has to do with police shooting three persons that were in a taxi cab. That wasn't their target, but they negligently shot them and one of them died. Now they've been given a fine of 320,000 cities. The family is indifferent about this. Uh, Kojonyako, so you were telling me about how the family is indifferent, but uh, how is the police receiving this new development? Well, so the Ghana Police Service uh, was the defendant in this case. They were not present in court, but because of the principle of vicarious liability, the employer taking um, the sins or carrying the sins of the employee because they were under uh, legal authority and so they were not on a frolic of their own. And so it's, it's the Ghana Police Service that is going to pay. They are waiting on the Ghana Police Service. When judgment is entered, um, they would um, pay the compensation packages to the affected people. Kojina mm, Queen is a man in the central region with more on that fine on police, 320,000 for shooting and killing one person.